This was a fierce, emotional attack. You can't shoot five people in New York. They're gonna hunt your ass down. They're gonna find you. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. You may have heard of it or have seen it climbing the charts on your Netflix home screen. Homicide New York is taking the streaming world by storm. It's incredible. It's really captivating. This morning, we're joined by one of the contributors of that popular series, true crime author, legal death investigator, Barbara Butcher. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Let's begin with the first question here and how you kind of found your way to this career working within the investigations office being one of the first people on the scene for some of these most notorious and horrible, horrible crimes here in New York City. Mm, they were, they were a lot, they were, those were crazy days. Yeah. The early 90s, um, how I got into the job actually was I was an alcoholic. I got, so I was sort of screwing up my, my work life. Okay. Um, but I had a medical background and I was, uh, I went to a, 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 a career counseling service. When you get sober, they give you a little yeah. help, you yeah. know? And um, so uh, getting sober was like, was everything. That got me, um, they, they said, you should either be a coroner or a poultry veterinarian. Okay, wow. Because that was, that was based on <laughs> the bizarre. testing they gave yeah. me. I said, why poultry? I said, well, you get too emotionally attached to your patients. I was mm. working in surgery at the time. Oh, I see. I said, if you were working with puppies and kittens, you would be emotionally bereft okay. if they died. But chickens, beady mm. little eyes, no one cares. So I said, I think I'll take coroner, yeah. death investigator. I called the one person in New York who I thought had the best job in the world. Yeah. Dr. Charles Hirsch was the chief medical examiner gotcha. at the time. And in an in informational interview, they actually offered me the job mm -hmm. of death wow. investigator. look at that. Yeah, and it took off. So. I mean, you, you talk about a cast of characters. There was quite a cast of characters in this uh, Netflix uh, series, yes. um, and you are one of them. But when you look back at it, I mean, you're looking at, at all these notorious cases mm -hmm. in New York City, and you talk about getting emotionally attached to animals, but even you, in covering some of these cases, mm -hmm. got emotionally attached to the victims, seeing what they went through, right? Yeah, the key to doing the job successfully without destroying yourself is detachment to drop a screen, to separate your heart from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But that's not really possible. We're human beings mm -hmm. and we feel things. And I soon discover that, that you, if you shut off one emotion, the grief and anguish over these deaths, they all shut down. Yeah. But replaying so. it, was it triggering for you at all? In this not, not really, because I had just written a book yeah. about those, uh, this, what the dead know, mm -hmm. no. okay. about the the cases I had worked in and what it did to me emotionally, that was like an emotional core dump. Yeah. Wow. Of, and, and then so when I did the series, um, it brought it all back, but this time with a little bit of distance, a little bit of, of uh, resolve, mm -hmm. of closure. Mm -hmm. I did my best for the people, the victims that I worked with, for the families. Yeah. I did my absolute best and I have to leave it at that. Yeah, when you look at, the, uh, you've watched the series, I'm sure, right? Yeah. And when you see it, and you see yourself at some of these scenes, right? The Central Park one kind of jumped out at me the most because it was so horrific what happened to the individual without going into details on morning television. Mm. And you're there, like, up close yeah. and personal, face, like, look, what, how do you kind of be in that moment and then years later still deal with what you saw and witnessed? Was there therapy along the way that to help yes. you kind of cope with it? Yes, but not until after 9-11. When, when I was actively, you know, doing death investigations, we considered ourselves the kind of tough people, the strong people that could do this, yeah. and we didn't need any therapy. We were just fine. Mm. Not so good, yeah. maybe. Mm. After 9-11, which devastated all of New York, all of the country, and especially those of us who had to go and do remains recovery, they started giving us PTSD mm. therapy, wow. which I continue to this day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because the, the images don't leave you. And that Central Park case, that poor man, McMorrow, yes. he just, he was destroyed yeah. by yeah. children. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I mean, goodness. it's gotta be in your blood though to be in this kind of work. Um, yeah. Do you miss being out uh. there in the field at all? I do. You know what I miss most is the guys. Yeah. yeah, the men the and women, the detectives who shared something 
unspeakable with me. We all knew what we had seen and what we had felt, and it helped normalize it to know that we were together, mm -hmm. that we were strong mm -hmm. together. And I miss that camaraderie so much. Mm -hmm. Some of the greatest detectives in the world are in NYPD, and I learned a lot from them. Not yeah. just about my profession, but about life. Yeah. And how to carry on. Barbara, we're out of time. I could talk to you for hours. Yes, we're going to have you back, right? And you know, you know, Wally was one of the NYPD sergeants who was on Nightwatch. He used to contribute here on Pix 11. So it's yeah. good to see both of you on screen at the same time. Fascinating. Thank you. Fascinating. Yeah, make sure to check out her book, too. Uh, you can hear more on Homicide New York, which is now streaming on Netflix, and her book, What the Dead Know. Check it Snow. out. It is gripping, captivating, even though so many of us know these stories, just to kind of see it all play out in real time from their so perspective. Good. So good.